just up there in 1913, James Larkin was arrested as he addressed the workers of Dublin, who stood up to claim their dignity as citizens rather than as serfs. And on the other side of the street, where we're standing now in 1916, Ireland was declared to be a republic under the Hey, 
paying exactly, exactly the same amount of extra tax as someone earning $300,000 a year. This is not a plan to save Ireland. It is a plan to save the Irish elite. Sacrifices. They make sacrifices every day for their children, for their families, and for their communities. They just don't want to be the sacrifice. <laughs> if we really have no choice, if there is no alternative, if what we think and feel doesn't matter, then let's stop pretending that we are a democracy. And I have a suggestion for our masters as part of the austerity programme. As well as cutting everything else in sight, let's cut two years. Let's cut 2013 from the calendar and let's cut 2016 from the calendar. Because otherwise we will mark these anniversaries, these centenaries, amid a mockery of their ideals. Yeah. Who is going to stand here in front of the GPO in 2016 and tell us that we are the republic that was created on that day? Are they going to tell us that when all we've got to show for it is a loss of our sovereignty, mass unemployment, mass emigration, and a huge increase in poverty and inequality. Because that is what we are being, we are being offered. It would be much more convenient to skip 2016 and move straight from 2015 to 2017. But this is a lie. We do have a choice. We can emerge from this crisis with a renewed sense of solidarity and justice and a vigorous democracy in which power has returned to the people. We are here today to say that we are not economic units whose only function is to behave ourselves and pay off the gambling debts of our masters. or be sent to bed without our supper. We are not subjects, we are citizens. And we want our republic back. Can I introduce to you the wonderful Bruce McCabe to read from some of the founding documents of our state to remind us of why we are here and why we are citizens. Bruce McKay. Thank you. 
extinguishing of that right by a foreign people and the government has not extinguished the right, nor can it ever be extinguished except by the destruction of the Irish people. For every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the last 300 years, they have asserted it to arms, standing on that fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world. We hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state. And we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom of its welfare and of its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to, and hereby claims, the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and all of its parts cherishing all of the children of the nation equally and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided a minority from the majority in the past. Thank you. 